Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at the 4th State Comic Con with Peter Zimmerman, who is currently on The Walking Dead. How are you enjoying the con? Uh, it's a blast. I'm having a great time meeting all the fans here, and um, everybody's been full of energy and passionate about Walking Dead and superheroes and all that kind of stuff, so anytime you get to be in that kind of environment, it's a blast. So This one, I had heard of it, and you're playing Eduardo on The Walking Dead, and you're in which community? I'm in the Hilltop community. So um, you got the Kingdom, you got Alexandria, and now you have the Hilltop. And uh, yeah, we're a farming community and uh, take pride in doing the, the, the food growing and all that kind of stuff. But now this season, you might see a little bit more fight out of us. So so who do you like better as a leader for the Hilltop, Maggie or Gregory? That's a no-brainer. I got to go with uh, Maggie. Got to go with Maggie. No loyalty to Gregory, huh? Not anymore. Not anymore. He's, uh, he's kind of... Uh, wore out his welcome, and um, I think he's lost a lot of trust in, in the people of the Hilltop, and um, I think we're just headed in a different direction. And he never remembers your name right anyway, right? He <laughs> never remembers anybody's name, yep. So what's the best part about being part of The Walking Dead? I think the people are the best part. Um, the cast and the crew that, we, that we're so fortunate to work with, everybody's super inclusive. You don't feel that sense of hierarchy where it's like, you know, we're bigger actors than you or we're you know we've been on the show longer it's just it's a sense of community um not just with the sh with the casting crew but also with the fans the walking dead family is something that um it's kind of put out there a lot to as a hashtag and um and it's such a true thing as soon as you get on that show um you eat lunch with the whole cast you you meet all the crew and and it's just it's such a family atmosphere so that's the best part about it have you done a lot of con so far this is my fifth con, um, so I feel like I'm kind of getting more and more acclimated each time I do one. Um, but it's still, I still feel very, it still feels kind of weird having people come up asking me for an autograph or a picture or an interview. Um, but it, but in a flattering kind of way, and uh, and yeah, I think it's um, it's cool. It's it's still very new and fresh to me. So, so at these cons, you're looking around and you see some people. They're not dressed like normal everyday clothing. They're cosplayers. What do you think of these cosplayers? I think they're incredible. I think uh, I met a guy yesterday who built an R2-D2, and it took him nine months, he said. So just the passion and the energy that probably went into um, to building that and the dedication is just incredible. Um, and I'm sure there's countless other people here that have, that have put so much time into their, their cosplays. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just it's, that's the coolest part for me is just seeing all the other the fans who dressed up for, for this kind of event. So. Now, if you had a chance to come to a con in costume, you can't be from The Walking Dead. Well, you could be a different character than your own from The Walking Dead. Who would you like to cosplay? I'm going to say uh, Khal Drogo from Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm a huge huge Game of Thrones fan. I could see that. <laughs> that's, that's what I've heard. So I feel like it wouldn't be too much of a transition. Maybe just uh, you know get a longer um, man bun thing going on and maybe a goatee. And um, well, I, think he's, I think he might have uh, like some leather stuff going on and yeah you can walk around without your shirt on yeah that's what i was really trying to say but yeah that's uh i always get made fun of for for some shirtless stuff because i have um, a couple pictures from uh some photo shoots that i've done that people on twitter just kind of blast everywhere as and i'm the shirtless guy on the show so but yeah i could go shirtless for uh for cal drogo it's all about the comfort it's not you know showing off right it's exactly uh, yeah <laughs> yeah comfort Anything besides Walking Dead that you're working on currently, or is that your focus? Um, that is my main focus. It's uh, you know, season eight has been um, it's been good so far, and, and I've been working on that heavily. But um, there's one project that I can't really speak on just yet, just because of uh, you know paperwork and legal reasons. Um, I'm excited about that one, and I'm also a musician, so I um, I am recording constantly, putting out singles. I have some music on iTunes and Spotify. So actually, if they go to uh, my Twitter, which is I am Peter Z. All my iTunes and Spotify links are on there. Awesome. You actually just preempted my next question is, where can people find you on social media? So you're on Twitter, I am Peter Z. Uh, are you on any other social media platforms? Yeah, I'm on uh, Instagram as well, which is the same, I am Peter Z. And then Facebook um, is I'm Peter Zimmerman. So I am Peter Z for Instagram and Twitter, and I'm Peter Zimmerman for Facebook. I'm going to put that like right on the screen here. Oh, perfect. Hello. Okay, so I have very invasive questions for you. It's very... These might put you on the spot. Are you ready? Do it. What is your favorite candy bar? Snickers. 
Snickers. You didn't even have to think. That just, like, came right out. Yeah. You ever have one of those days you're not feeling yourself, you're feeling like a zombie, and then you need a Snickers, and you're back? Yeah, I'm not myself. I need a Snickers. Yep. If you were able to travel in time, and you could just visit, you don't have to stay there, visit any era in history, where would you visit? 1500s. Um... England, King Henry time. Not as a, not as anybody um, in particular. Definitely nobody in the royal court, but maybe like a fly or something on the wall, just to just to see what that was like. I'm just fascinated with um, with his whole reign and even like you know his daughter's Bloody Mary and that kind of stuff. Um, I think that'd be a cool time period to go to go back to. And if you were a fly, there'd be plenty to eat because there's a lot of sanitation wasn't the best back then yeah i probably i probably lived for 48 hours versus 24 so however, however long the lifespan is of a fly so yeah we, we'd give, make you a special fly you could last for like 48 days how's that that's perfect that's a it's a great life right there. <laughs> yeah eating a lot of anyway right. <laughs> and finally if your life had a theme song what would that theme song be that's a good one um don't stop believing journey that's a good song. Yeah. I, I wanted to make sure it was a good answer. So, <laughs> Well, that, that's an excellent answer. So is that just your philosophy of life and you think everyone should not stop believing? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this, this whole um, journey for me has been, has started from a very young age and I'm 25 now, so I'm still fairly young, but I was 10 years old auditioning, missing school. Um, and I didn't book my first role until I was 17. So, and it was actually that audition that was going to be my last audition ever. Um, and I ended up booking it and ever since then it's just been that keep trucking, keep going along because it's the ones that give up that don't make it, not necessarily the ones that, you know, it's not, it's not about you just trying and not being good enough. If you persist at it long enough, as cliche as it sounds, you will get better. You will learn what works and what doesn't and something will eventually crack. So, so yeah, I totally believe that for everybody. Well, that, that is an awesome philosophy, an awesome song. Do you want to sing some? Um... Just a small town boy, born and raised in South Detroit. Okay, that's that's all I got right now. Well, that's also a preview of your singing on your own stuff. Oh, so please, no, that's not a preview at all. That's uh, <laughs> that's on the spot right there. But um, but yeah, my music's a little bit more hip hop, and um, I guess uh, singing melodies here and there, definitely not journey level. So um, so yeah, don't use that as a reference for <laughs> for that. Yeah. Okay, so people should go out and get your singles and get your music so they can compare it to Don't Stop Believing. Favorably or unfavorably, it's really going to be up to them, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Peter. Thank it's, you. it's been a pleasure. And uh, everyone out there, thanks for watching. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. And we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.